The primary was monitored by staff of INEC, while operatives of different security agencies in the state were on the ground to ensure a heat-free exercise. Now, some political thugs have attacked the Oromia house of the former governor of Oshun State, Raul Fari Boshola, located along Bonga Road in Oshogbo, the state capital. The attack on the building and which members loyal to the former governor, the Osho Progressives TOP regularly hold their meetings, took place about two hours after the weekly meeting of the group had been concluded. An eyewitness, Abosa D. Oluwa Sheung, who spoke on the attack, commanded the swift reaction of the Osho State Police Command. Osho State Commissioner of Police, Olawali Olokode, promised to bring the uh, suspected hoodlums to book adding that the police will not condone any act of hooliganism and disruption of public peace. We invaded that building and uh, started shooting radically. So I've been able to get some information from the, the eyewitnesses. And they promised that um, they will reveal more information and we shall go into immediate investigation in order to that to the root of the incident. Advice to the members of the public is that they should not panic. This is a, a one-off thing. Uh, adequate provision of uh, security is assured. As everyone right here, uh, my men will be on ground and then uh, to ensure that there is no repeat of this kind of incident. But I want to assure them that uh, the town is safe. It was around 5.30 in the evening when some gunmen came. They parked one um, Siena bus at the other side there and one bus. So they crossed over down here and they started shelling this building. It is quite unfortunate that it is late in the night. You will, the, the, this transformer that is here, they shot the transformer with the intent that it will explode. So the oil from, from the transformer was dropping out. So they, all the, in the afternoon, all this ground was littered with shells. This um, pump action, so all the buildings, all the glasses were... were so then they came was equally shell. Then they were now throwing bread. They came with bread soaked in petrol. So they were throwing it inside the building. But fortunately enough you know, for us, we still have some tents that we use for the program. So as we are throwing the uh, bread with the petrol, it's landed on the, the tent. tent. So it was the tent that got burnt. So then as, as the attack was going on, we called on the, the fire service, who actually came, who quickly came, to come and uh, defuse the transformer here. So that was how it just happened. They operated for like 10 minutes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.